welcome from uh, the Systemic Sclerosis World Congress in Bordeaux. It is our pleasure to have uh, Professor Tashkin from uh, UCLA in Los Angeles. And uh, Professor Tashkin, what is your approach to systemic sclerosis patients presenting with dyspnea in your clinic? Uh, well, certainly if a patient uh, has dyspnea, uh, when uh, he or she first presents with scleroderma, the patient should undergo an HRCT scan in addition to pulmonary function tests. Uh, even in the absence of dyspnea, I would do the same because patients are off, who are dyspneic, sometimes with exertion, sometimes just reduce their level of activity so they don't experience this discomforting symptom of dyspnea. So you can't rely on the symptoms. So even in the absence of dyspnea, I would measure lung function and I would obtain a CT scan. And I do exactly the same thing in the patient who presents with dyspnea. Thank you very much, Professor.